You want to be able to mingle around. I'm not going to give you the long litany of the attributes that are so real, so wonderful of Senator Tim Johnson. I'm just going to say, what a man to be proud of, the senior senator from South Dakota. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Judy. And Judy, all of South Dakota wants to thank you for your extraordinary leadership for the South Dakota State Democratic Party these years. Hasn't she done an incredible job? Yeah. So thank you, Judy, and thank you to all the candidates uh, that, that Judy was referencing here. We have a very, very strong slate of candidates uh, in Pennington County and throughout the Black Hills this year, and I find that incredibly encouraging because I think there is a sense all across South Dakota that there's a need to take our state back, put our state back on track. I think there's a sense that uh, somehow the good old South Dakota that we know and love has somehow been taken over by some out-of-state groups that are using our state legislature as a laboratory for every radical idea that comes down the pike. We want, and I think the people of South Dakota, including a lot of Republicans and independents, want South Dakota's legislature to get back on track, to get focused on jobs and income levels, on farm and ranch issues, on wages, on health care, on education, and all the range of issues that really matter to South Dakota families. That's where these candidates are taking South Dakota, and we can be grateful to them for that. You know, and we can be awfully proud that besides these legislative candidates, that we have a team like Jack and Eric here, who have gone to every corner of the state, and they have articulated a message that I think has been a very powerful one, and has have offered to this new leadership for South Dakota that I think our state is hungry for. In the meantime, we also have simultaneously uh, an extraordinary member of the House of Representatives, our lone member of the House, the first woman ever elected to federal office in South Dakota, our Congresswoman Stephanie Herseth. And Stephanie is a rising star in Washington. She's getting attention all over the country for her great work there. She's appealing to people on both sides of the aisle. Uh, given the dynamic that we see going on in the U.S. House of Representatives this election year and what's going to happen tomorrow, how does Chairman Herseth sound to you? Yeah. While Stephanie's campaign is sailing along in pretty strong shape right now, we, we, we need to send a message out of South Dakota, that in the Black Hills and all across South Dakota, that, uh, that she's going to win by a huge margin and that for any uh, opponent wannabe that might be out there, the message to them is going to be, don't mess with Stephanie. Yeah. <laughs> Stephanie, we're awfully proud of you. You're an incredible role model for young people all over our state. Uh, Stephanie's a former intern in my office to tell you how old I feel. Uh, but, uh, and, uh, and Stephanie's uh, father was a classmate of mine at USD, so we go back a long time. But we're so proud of the mark that Stephanie herself is making in the United States Congress, representing the very best of South Dakota's values and priorities each and every day. Welcome our Dean of our House Delegation, <laughs> Stephanie Herzog.